on today's episode of out with the old in with the new we got a 1980 camaro z28 um it's all dismantled because it was at the paint shop <clears throat> so it's all been broken down they starting to get ready to get the body work done and um we're gonna get this thing painted up so they decided to speed up the process go and bring it to the motor shop y'all see we got the boat anchor in here it's all original um it was an ac car <clears throat> but we finna get ready to snatch this up out of there we're gonna put a little power in there man small block 400 177 blower um hydraulic cam pump gas motor uh, we will be street driven you know just something daily to drive around play with have fun with man so we're gonna do this one real quick man we'll go ahead and we're gonna get this out um since it's going to the paint shop, as soon as it leave here, I may not paint the firewall just because I'm pretty sure the paint shop probably gonna want to do their thing up under there. But I'm gonna just clean it up a little bit. Um, but as y'all can see, I mean, I'm taking this thing all the way apart, so he's going all the way through it. They going all the way through it. Are well, they doing it the right way? He doing it the right way. But we're gonna do a full build from the front to the back. Um, y'all see the interior the interior net but as you see all original the interior is not bad already so <clears throat> won't be much to do here gotta cut the hole again um it's gonna be back with a 400 transmission 10 inch converter and i think he's gonna put some wheels on it 24 so we're probably gonna do some 373s or 320 uh my bad 342s a 373 somewhere up in that range so he can get good highway uh drivability uh, but i'll let y'all know exactly y'all gonna see it you know how i do gotta let you see what it do when all four tires hit the ground man so we're gonna go on and get this boat anchor out and get the new end out and from the looks of it yeah this thing look like it's been in this car since All right, motor is in on the mounts. I don't know if y'all can see that, them black motor mounts right there. So I went with a uh, transdap mounts this time. That's not normally what I use. I normally use the Morosos. Um, those, for some reason, I had to finesse a little bit to get them to line up to get uh, both of the boats in. But for the most part, you can see I got the motor sitting in that place. I got a jack up under the transmission right now. Um, I had to slide the crossman back a good little ways. Normally, I just drill some holes. Um in the uh frame but on this one, i think once i position it where it's gonna sit since this setup gonna stay like this i'm probably just gonna um probably just tack it or something like that um but we're down here from here man next up is uh put the headers on wired up fired up anytime all right we're on the hood pre-cutting y'all can see the hood i already got some factory holes in it but these are your mountain tabs right here um 
for the top Z28 scoop. I'm gonna have to cut that as well. So as you can see, the way that this is fitting in here right now, I got fuel line uh, right here. So I'm just gonna notch it out, this area right here, so that when the hood is completely closed, because right now I'm gonna close all down, I don't need no type of binding in the fuel line for the fuel supply. And then also on my pre-cut, I noticed that um, once the hood closed, it's gonna be hit up against the throttle bracket. So of course when you um, go into full throttle, half throttle, and the cable is moving back and forth, you don't want it binding anywhere or possibly get caught on any sharp object that's up under the hood. So I'm gonna take my Sharpie, wherever I just put that at. What did I do with my Sharpie? Hold on, got it right here in my pocket. I'm gonna take my Sharpie. And we probably gonna just trim out maybe this area here. Okay. So probably from here, take this out and bring it in to this, like this. All right. So that might be more of a neater cut if I bring it this way and try to curve it back. So the hood is cut, and you can see now we got plenty of room for the fuel line, and we got room for the throttle bracket. So next is cutting out this top piece right here. Like I said, I kind of sleek mocked it up, but the problem is it look about straight. But the thing is, I don't have the nose on the car, so it's kind of difficult. Like, look at that. That looks pretty straight but if you sit the top part of the scoop on you can't really see the scoop so you can't really tell if it's straight you know what i'm saying i'm just lining it up with the center part of the hood latch spring and just making it center because the the top scoop is coming to is uh comes to a point right here so that's how i kind of found my center point and that looks straight Crazy part is I'm asking y'all to do a little scrape, but it's gonna be already cut by the time y'all see this video. So we still got our fingers and toes crossed. But now when I come on the inside of the car and sit in the driver's seat, I don't know, does that look straight to y'all? To me, it don't look straight. So I don't know if my eyes playing tricks on me or what. Could be a mind thing. For the most part, it looks great. I don't know. Anyway, y'all, we can't keep sitting here debating about it. Gotta go on and cut it. All right, we got the hood, uh, the scoop. Got it cut. So let y'all see. Stick this on here. Give you an idea about what that's gonna look like. Boom. So we got that on there. And then we got the brand new scoop. That we just went and picked up from Summit, the building one. So we're gonna go and get this on real quick. This had look cut out. I don't have the weather stripping around it, but for the most part, the cut is it's pretty clean. All right, so pop the hood, see what it look like. Yep, there we go. And that's the overlook under the hood. That's how she looks sitting in there. 